What's up beautiful people on the other side. Today's video I wanted to talk about the whitelist. I see a lot of people in even the most uh, population that is in there in the whitelist part is the beginners that are coming into the market recently because all they hear about is whitelist and they try to grind the projects days and nights and I feel that that's really not uh, the right way to do it. Plus uh, recently the uh, way the projects are working out they are not liking grinding anymore because the projects have understood that grinding is a negative thing when it comes to nfts and the projects that are uh, uh, following the no grind policies are kind of performing a bit well than the ones who are into grinding most of the bigger influencers are also hating on this particular word called uh, whitelist grinding and that's the reason the approach is kind of changing a bit the whitelist is not going anywhere but the approach towards it is definitely going to change a lot in future that's what i feel now how can you get whitelisted for any project that you want there are a few tips that i would like to give you guys so that you don't have to uh, grind day and night and just focus on one particular thing to get whitelisted there are other ways also and that can help you reach your goal way faster and that can help you get whitelisted for more than one project easily before i start the video you know the trend all i would ask is please to subscribe the channel hit the notification bell because i share a lot of information about nfts and soon as soon as our community grows out a lot more i'll be sharing a lot more whitelist options with you guys too so i hope we grow a lot let's get started The first way and the most important way I would say uh, for you to get whitelisted is going to be the fan art. I know you are not an artist, I am not an artist, everybody knows that we cannot draw. But I've taught you the most easiest way to create a fan art in less than 2 minutes without photoshop. If you haven't watched that video, I'll be linking that down in the uh, description section below plus uh, on somewhere up here also. You can definitely go check that out. You should definitely look on those videos and are uh, easily able to make fan art for the particular project that you're looking for. However, I would still advise you to try to learn how to use Photoshop because in the longer term, if you learn Photoshop, you'll be able to easily get whitelisted because the techniques that I've taught you is on the basis of the art of the project. But if you do learn Photoshop, how to create things out of your own, you'll be able to create your own art. And I think that is the best uh, skill that you can learn in NFTs. So definitely try to learn how to use Photoshop. But if for the initial, if you're a beginner or if you are someone who has invested two, three months in this field and are still grinding in Discord for whitelist, I think this could be uh, a savior for you. This could be something that can save a lot of your time also. Plus that can make you stand out uh, of others. So definitely check those videos out, learn how to create fan arts in less than two minutes easily. Uh, but yeah, I would suggest you to learn uh, to create fan art, share them in your Discord and try to tag the mods, not the owners, because that does not work out. Owners uh, have hired mods so that they can look to your project so that they can look out on things like this, right? If you tag owners, it is a good thing. You can definitely tag one of them. But then again, I think the most fruitful thing will be to tag mods. Now, who, which mods are the most important part? Don't tag any mod in the in the community, right? You should first be talking in the community. Be there, be present there, talk to a few people and try to talk like a few mods, target few mods, uh, especially if they're from their, from your own country. So I'm from India. If I find a mod who is from India and if I'm targeting him only, I'm talking to him, I'm talking to other community members also, but again, I'm talking to that mod and I've shown him that yes, I am someone who is present here. Plus I tag him on my fan arts. There is the chance of me getting whitelisted increases way, way, way more than tagging random mods at any time, right? You tag me today, you tag someone else today, you tag someone else today. Nobody knows how many times you've shared your fan art or how what, what are your exact efforts, right? And that's where I think talking to mods and creating some kind of connection with them helps you a lot. Talk to mods, learn uh, about them, and then keep tagging them on your fan arts. That is the easiest way and the quickest way to get whitelisted for any particular project. The second one uh, is kind of funny, but I've seen it. If you are with a girl uh, Discord account, right? It, it The chances of you getting whitelisted increases. And I've seen it practically live also, since most of the mods that are coming in the, in the Discord groups are male. And if you are uh, with someone with a female PFP, chances for you to get whitelisted it increases 100%. So I would advise look into this part also, uh, try to change your PFP to a female, try to talk to the mods. If if any kind of tricks can help you out, I think that's 100% uh, best to apply. So definitely try this one also. The second one is going to be Twitter. So there are thousands of giveaways that are going on every day. 
I advise you to join them definitely, but that's not the way to to win whitelist, right? Because uh, if if you see uh, they give a whatever project is good, there will be thousands of people who will be getting into that uh, particular giveaway, and the whitelist spots on a giveaway is maximum three five, right? Uh, so you cannot imagine that out of those three or five whitelist spots, you are going to win one. It is extremely extremely hard. Nobody knows the chances of you winning is very 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 less, right? If you are lucky enough, if you are fortunate enough, then only you'll be able to win it. Otherwise, very extreme, uh, very less chances for you to win. Now, how can we overcome this situation? How can we make this favorable to our part? Definitely join in the giveaways. I would never say don't join them. You can uh, be lucky any time. You don't know that, so definitely join them. But the second easiest way is if, uh, let's say, for example, a project like Might Blow On, right? It's an it's it's a most hyped project currently, and it's a good project. right the team behind it is amazing and people want to get whitelisted for it plus if you do get whitelisted for it i think you'll be able to make a good amount of money but what exactly happens in nft market is people just goes into people just go into discord and try to uh, grind for it without learning about the project they don't know who the owner is they don't know who the founders are they don't know what they've done in the past they don't know what their uh, road map is or what the team is planning what their vision is nothing all they want is whitelist spots so they grind for it and this is 90 to 95% of the community in discord that's doing it this way very less number of people are first learning about the project and then trying to get into it so if you could be one of those if you could be one of those who learn about the project who uh, know about the founders who learn about their background who try to understand their vision and you share the same on twitter that is the most easiest way to get whitelisted start learning about the project and then start sharing about them on twitter every day every single day talk in their discord connect with people share their fan art and then share about them on your twitter tagging their mods or tagging the owners try to change your pfp to their project also that will really help you out but yes definitely learn about their project and spread awareness every project owner loves this and if you do spread awareness about their project the things that they want the community to know but nobody knows about it if you share threads about them if you share particular information that not a lot of people know about your chances of winning whitelist is way 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 higher than anyone else plus they'll be personally messaging you also that you have been contributing towards the community we're giving you whitelist and that's uh, what i've seen with even isekai meta or aswang tribe few good projects that are about to come in future but that's how uh, the market works if you are performing if if you are sharing about the project telling people why you feel this is a good one your chances of getting whitelist increases way 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 higher than someone who is just grinding discord So yeah, this uh, Discord and Twitter try to use it in a different way rather than just grinding way. The third one would be alpha passes. I think alpha passes is the most easiest way to get whitelisted for. But depending on what kind of alpha pass you are in, so let's say uh, you are in alpha pass which has the total supply of two thousand, right? Your chances of winning is again very very less. The float price is going to be less, but uh, the chances are also very less. right the number of people who hold more of those nfts wins more the number who the people who hold less nfts wins less so that's how the it works without with alpha passes there are few good alpha passes like champs only the plug pass or dark age lawn i think that's how you pronounce it or few good communities like project to zira or llama wars these are the few projects that are extremely well and they give you opportunities that are amazingly awesome right so if you can get nfts for those particular project i know it, it's it's on a very expensive side when it comes to llama wars or when it comes to dark age on there the prices are above 4 eth or 5 eth right and if, if if a beginner would have that much amount of money that would have that would really change his life but yeah that's not possible but there are passes like champs only which has uh, which is at around 1.1 eth something at the moment and the community is extremely extremely strong right the benefit with alpha passes it you just do not get the whitelist spot you also get to learn from the best people in the market right champs only uh, is an amazing person he has amazing amount of knowledge so you if you're holding their pass you get uh, a way to talk to that particular person directly in their ams or in their discord group when they join the calls you'll be able to talk to them you'll be able to understand their mindset how they uh, 
trade now because these people do not need to grind anymore for whitelist spots they are hugely whitelisted for all most of the projects because they are the ones who are distributing the whitelist right so if they feel like the project is good they, they, they'll be definitely minting it but the the benefit of buying a pass is not whitelist spots i believe the benefit of buying the pass is the access to those people the access to picking their mind that's the most beneficial part and i think if you want to be in increase for the longer term try to talk to these people try to understand what they think try to understand how they are trading in the market how what what exactly is their approach is and if you're able to grasp 50 percent of it and implement it on your own i think you'll be able to make a good amount of money so that's where the passes really helps you out whitelist is definitely a benefit but uh, talking to these people directly is the most beneficial part. The next one is going to be Twitter Spaces. So Twitter Spaces is the best way. I feel why? First, if you do not have uh, enough confidence to talk, it will give you enough confidence to talk to these people, right? Uh, I, I when I joined NFTs, I did not have enough confidence to join these spaces. I still don't. Uh, a disclaimer: I still don't. I still hesitate to talk in in most of the VCs or even in Twitter Spaces. But what I've seen is, if you are able to talk in Twitter Spaces, right? If you're able to ask the right questions from the founders first the benefit of you getting whitelisted is increased by a lot right because the founder know you now if you are if you have asked a good question they know your name and they know that you are someone who is interested in their project who knows about their project so that's this is where the first point when i told you to research on the project comes beneficial again when you research you'll be able to share the same on your twitter and next you'll be able to talk to them in the twitter spaces also once you talk to them on the twitter spaces try to send them a message uh, through your account right try to send them that i like your project i've researched on your project a lot and i like what you're doing what your vision is try to create a personal connect with them once you have a personal connect with them the next time you're going to post about them or the next time you'll be sitting in the discord talking to the people they will be noticing you they'll be seeing that this person was there in these spaces this person is there in the discord also this person is sharing a lot about us on the twitter also your chances of whitelist increases way 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 more you can easily understand this right so uh rather than grinding for two three four weeks for a particular project if you just Try this for a week. Your chances of getting whitelisted in a week increases by a lot. Plus, you get a personal touch with the founders of a particular project. So now, in future, when you are in their Discord and there is an opening for moderator or any other things, right? If you raise your hand at the right point of time, because they know you, you will be able to get the job opportunities also in NFT. If you do not know what kind of job opportunities are there in NFTs, I've just shared a video. I'll be linking it somewhere here in the description also. Watch that out. There are a lot of opportunities right now in the market and you should definitely grasp for one of them to create your careers in this. It is very easy. Plus, the amount of money that you'll be able to make in this field is extraordinarily awesome. I personally feel that. Uh, so definitely check that video out also. But yeah. These are the few ways I think you can easily get whitelisted for a particular project rather than grinding for one, two, three, four weeks. And then once the project mints, the floor price is below mint and it's all a time waste for you, right? But because you've grinded for one month, you feel obligated to mint that particular project. That's where the story goes all back. So always remember if you're whitelisted, it does not mean that you have to mint it. No. If you're whitelisted and if the project floor price inclusive of gas is above what the mint price is, then definitely mint it and make profit out of it. Otherwise, don't mint it. Whatever you feel inside. I know because I've felt it in the past. I've grinded the projects and I know how I felt wasting so much of time. That's the reason I've stopped grinding also now. So definitely try to follow few of these steps and I think you can easily get whitelisted very, very quickly. I hope you did enjoy the video. I hope you did get the value out of it. If you did, Please do subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell because I'm sharing a lot of information about NFTs. And if you have any doubts, uh, mention them in the comment box below. I would love to answer them or create a video on them. Thank you.